Hello, Queen Mary University of London is here at Digital Shortage, where students and researchers, lecturers from our Media and Arts Technology program and Fast Impact project are showcasing some very exciting projects. Being able to bring our work to a place like Digital Shortage, which is essentially a big festival for the tech industry and the private sector, um, is a fantastic way of being exposed to a different kind of people. It's really, really important as we're doing our research to have the opportunity to exhibit work and do stuff outside the academic environment. It opens the research up to a whole different set of people, gets you exposure as an artist. It just gives more opportunity for that work to grow in new directions which aren't contained within academia. I'm here at Digital Shortage to show ClearSpot, which is this installation which is an interactive air pollution display using sound built into this window. My project is called Feel the Sound and it's basically trying to evoke the emotion expressed by the music in a movie through vibrations, uh, um, through a piece of wearable technology to give the hearing impaired people a sense of the emotional content carried out by the music and create an immersive experience for everyone else enjoying watching movies. I believe that technology nowadays can help uh, people with different disabilities rather than just build the latest, coolest gadget on the market. The Distant Heart Necklace is a computational piece of jewellery that uh, was created to connect people in long distance relationships. Women would wear it and um, the men in most cases would measure their heart rate throughout the day whenever they felt like sharing their heartbeat with their loved one. And they would uh, tweet that heart rate. The necklace then would leak into pulsate slightly. The interactive technology is terribly fun. Axis is a kinetic sculpture built of 20 layers made of thin board, uh, each one controlled individually. Well, we've had plenty of people come by and they seem to be very interested by it and they're very fascinated by the optical illusion that it creates and the, you know, the way that it looks. We on the Media Arts Technology Programme have access to some fantastic facilities for creating uh, digital pieces of, of research and artwork just like our sculpture that we've made here. And that's the one fantastic part of the thing that makes Queen Mary good at this sort of stuff. The main purpose of the project was uh, to explore how um, we can create a physical structure, a system that can generate movements based on the, on the human body, so people can be more clearly aware of their own body, body movements. Queen Mary combines quite well the engineering part and the artistic part, the media part, so I feel that I can fit quite good into it. So the good thing about uh, the programme at Queen Mary is the breadth of experience from all of the students. It's well integrated into the creative networks in London, the creative scene in London, like Digital Shoreditch here being a good example. Queen Mary is a great place mixing uh, people from many different backgrounds. There is a strong sense of collaboration between the departments at Queen Mary University don't get done that many other universities across London, so it's very good uh, for the students as you, you can find the right collaboration for your project. So bringing our research here at Digital Shortage is a great way uh, to see how people can engage with the kind of novel system we are developing at Queen Mary and we get a lot of feedback from people and we can see whether we are going in the right direction or not and how we can change things. So for us it's about disseminating what we're doing and creating impact as well.